I'm going to give these headphones a spin and see how they work. See how the volume is and how, how they sound, how they feel. I wore them a little while, you know, just knocking around the house. They felt pretty good. I'm just going down here on the beach where I live. And if the tide, well, the tide ain't loaded like 6.30, so. But the, I might be able to work in that trough. Just in and out a little bit. Knox, 600. Plugger, carbon fiber shaft. The only thing I don't have to make this complete is a new arm cup. I know there's been a lot of these arm cups have snapped off. So I called my old buddy Jeff Hersky up, Herky or whatever his name is. I bought a lot of arm cups from him over the years for my E-Track and my Explorer. And I don't know what else I bought from him. But anyway, he's making one for this baby now. He's in Duluth, Georgia. Be here tomorrow or the next day, I guess. We'll see how it goes when we get it. It's got a foot stand on it for hurting the dirt, you know. I may not be in love with that if it's too hard, too too high, you know. I mean, it'd be good if I hunted in the dirt all the time. We'll see. I haven't downloaded the manual yet, so I'm going by memory, you know, from what I when I had the 800. But my memory's okay, so I think I'll be okay. Damn, big container ship going by, full of containers. Stand by. I'm going to go through this gate here. This Knoxville might, should be okay on the beach in the land of Nala. There's that big container ship. I know you can see it, but you probably can't tell what the, so many containers are. We got north wind, so it's a little rough anyway, you see. And we're just going practicing today. Holy jumping Toledo. My nitro already, before I can get down the steps. God! I see something weird on the beach down there, besides that, I mean. That's the weird thing I found, I saw up there on the steps. That's an old baby right there. No targets yet. First thing's a 12. One of a 12 is. This is six inches deep. swimming cap. Well, um, something I didn't think I was going to find. Look at that. Off an old swimming hat. Damn. I'm okay. I like that. Well, here we got a five. Over there we had a 24 was a bottle cap. We had a 26 was a dime. We had a 21 was a penny. And this is a five. Piece of aluminum. Crapo. We got the two coins down in the damp sand. About no. The penny come from up here. The bottle cap and the dime came from the damp sand. This came from sort of near the top of the dune. That's the first target I dug up here. I'm working in and out. Here we got a 10. We're in beach one. Sensitivity is 16. 
Volume at 25 max. I'm gonna say it's a bottle cap. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, well, I can remember both bottle caps. No, nope. it's a piece of aluminum. Just as well be a bottle cap. I haven't done the upgrade. I may do the upgrade tonight. I went with the 600 this time. Since I don't need the gold mode. I don't quite need all them little extra little things they got. They're nice, but they're not necessary for beach hunting. If I hunted different places, they got a five here. Probably more aluminum. That's what it sounds like. No, we got a bucktail head. Hey, hey! Come out of there, baby. Look at that. They got way up the beach, too. That's higher than I thought. I'm just about where I found that uh, piece of aluminum near the bank up here. That's a pretty good sign. Nice green dime, 25. I tell you one thing. I forgot how light two pounds is. Or 2.5 pounds or whatever it is. I like it. Fourteen. Oh, I see it already. Nice bottle cap. Bottle cap number two. I like bottle caps. But I guess I'm going to have to dig some with this ticket. She likes them. Okay, stand by. Fourteen. With the grunt. I don't know if I like that grunt part. That's mostly grunt everywhere. I'm thinking bottle cap. Yep, there it is, right there. Corona. The best. Another 14. No grunt this time though. It's solid 14. But that don't mean a damn thing. You should know that now. Plenty grunt now. Another cap, I'm sure. Yeah, we got it out. Let's see what it is. I mean, what kind of bottle cap it is. Let's put it that way. Where are you, chickadee? There you are. Red. Bud Light. Yep, we got the first 29 of the day. Loud too, boy, if I can knock my ears off. 29. 25 cent. That's what it's supposed to be. Way up high, too. Well, 
25, 29 I mean. Seven. Here we go. Five pennies, one quarter, two dimes, two nickels, four caps, one gray of matter, one end of a screw, and a screw. I don't know what this is, some kind of brass doodad thing. All right. See you tomorrow, maybe. Take it easy. I think I told you that the phones had a really long cord on them, you see. Straight coming out of the headphones, pigtail, then a long straight stretch. Long enough where you plug this into the back of the uh, Equinox. Sort of like the ones that a guy from New Jersey made the adapter plug, if you remember. I had them made them longer. And then it comes with two Velcro straps that you tie the cable on in two different places wherever you want so it actually comes out of the back by the hand by the, by the armrest and you got a nothing dangling around in your way or anything that's a pretty pretty cool deal I'll show you I'll show you how it looks set up tomorrow I didn't set it up today I just plugged them in and used them and they work nice uh, stand by a minute. Joe makes two models of these, which I didn't know. I thought they only made the waterproof ones for the Equinox. But he makes land ones also. Different, you know, standard plug as far as I, I guess. Not this waterproof plug for the Equinox. But this is a nice looking plug compared to some of the plugs I've, I've seen people use. Anyway, they're completely submergible. We want a one-year warranty, and it's a molded cable. It's a little bit heavier duty than the other cables that we've seen, you know, in diameter and so on and so forth. So that shouldn't make them nice or better, let's put it that way. And they go, like I said, like I showed you yesterday, they slide in and out of the top ring here for sure, make them fit to your head and your ears better. And they were, I wore them like, what, an a hour today, I guess. And they were really comfortable. The volume was pretty damn good, especially on silver. Silver, like, what, well, you saw those two, with the net dime and the quarter that I dug today. It, oh, man, they like to knock my eardrums off. And I had the volume, because I had the volume at wide open at 25. And with the 600, you know, it's not like the 800. The 800, that, that's one of the advantages, the difference that you pay over the 6 to the 8 is, to me, is the volume and the settings you can do in the 800 over, which you can't do with the 600. You know, the adjustments that you can make. I'm not going to say it's worth $200, but with the with the 800 you do have the ability to change a lot of different tones and volumes in different areas with the 600 you can't do that you just have one setup but i'm happy i, I think it's going to be a nice machine for the beach
these super duper headphones, submergible, waterproof headphones. Got drains right there for the water. Let's see if they got one at the top. Yep, they got top just like regular waterproof headphones. Okay, that's all I got. More to follow. Thank you, Joe. Well, here they are. Patriot headphones by DeMarco Detectors. Right now, you know as much as I know, except they're in a really cool package. If you're in the packages, let's break them out of there. Well, they come with this Velcro strap for some reason, which I do not know exactly what it's for yet. It looks like a real nice waterproof plug. You can see it's really long. It's supposed to be bigger diameter than other headphones. I'm not much in diameter, so I can't answer that question. I just heard it was. They seem pretty comfortable. They sort of look like, shape-wise, the Detector Pros. Got a serial number right there. Patriot headphones. Adjustable, push in or push up. I had them on, they seem pretty comfortable. That's all I can tell you right now. More to follow on that. 